Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. Welcome to the 51 edition of the special Islamic show Arisala, the message with which you from your every television channel 33. Arisala is a special inspirational and motivational Islamic series we designed for the young Muslim and Muslim. And this programming aims to build on the spirituality of the young Muslim and Muslim so that they will contribute towards nation building, national development. And we will bring the program come to you, me, Na Al Haji Abdurrahman. In today's edition, inshallah, we will get a um, special chronic station and translation. We will go with message segment. Beautiful Nasheed Day for help you relax. Spoken Word Day for inspire you. And also, Salaka Kona Day for tell you about things the way they go on our society will for give a helping hand towards. And finally, you get to think about it. Well, Nasheed will kick start with some beautiful recitation from the glorious Quran. Or they take that recitation from the very first verse we can do. To Prophet Muhammad sallallahu alaihi wasallam, that na inside Surah Al-Alaq. A'udhu billahi min ash-shaytan ar-rajim. Bismillahi rahman rahim Iqra bismi rabbika alladhi khalanqa. خلق الإنسان من علق اقرأ وربك الأكرم الذي علم بالقلم علم الإنسان ما لم يعلم كلا إن الإنسان ليطغى أرآه تغنى إن إلى ربك رجعا أرأيت الذي ينهى عبدا إذا صلى أرأيت إن كان على الهدى أو أمر بالتقوى أرأيت إن كذب وتولى ألم يعلم بأن الله يرى كلا لئن لم ينته لنسفعا بالناصية ناصية كاذبة خاطئة فليدع نادية سندع الزبانية كلا لا تطعه واسجد واقترب. ما شاء الله الحمد لله وسيم بلينت. Thank you for that beautiful recitation there. You know from سورة الألك. You know the سورة of the pain. You know this particular سورة نا سورة we contain the first verses that we can do as revolution to the Holy Prophet Muhammad صلى الله عليه وسلم. That Allah سبحانه وتعالى they tell them for read. So from this, we don't see say one of the first things that we come down, you know, um, where Islam put emphasis and stress on that education. Islam stress on education so much. So even though Muhammad was an illiterate, somebody will not be, you know, read and write, but yet still the angel oppressed him hard for read and with inspiration from Allah, even though he was unlettered, he be able to read the verses of the Quran to Angel Jibril alayhi salam. So Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't make education compulsory. And Prophet Muhammad Sallallahu Alaihi Wasallam don't say no of it. it. He said for seek knowledge, he said composed upon both male and female. Man and woman will all for seek knowledge, will all for learn. Nobody not for left being at all at all. So inshallah, I hope so we'll all go make efforts towards seeking education, towards learning, and then we become you know better people in na society. Well, now so they move over to a message segment. As we message segment self, give or tell me something small, but learn book business. Uh -huh. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi ta'ala wa barakatuh. Now, so I would like for welcome the respectable viewers them to yet another wonderful segment, my message segment with me, brother Muaz Ba. Alhamdulillah, inside this segment today, we will come talk about Dagva Charity Foundation, then third annual fundraising dinner we didn't get for organized this year, inshallah. And with me in the studio for help me discuss more on this dinner, yeah, so. I get with my brother Hassan Sanito Bangua, really part of the strategic department at Dagba Charity Foundation, 
and also in the head for the organizing committee for the upcoming dinner this year, inshallah. But as an assalamu alaikum and welcome to my message segment. Wa alaikum salam wa barakatuh. So, but as an as I say, na me into we really come talk on we na fundraising dinner, we na third annual fundraising dinner we na organize this year. Yeah. So first, we go one for make you tell we why we na decide for come up with a fundraising dinner as a foundation. But I'm was um not to the first fundraising dinner we so don't get na the third one this. Basically, you make we come up with anything there. The monthly subscription we get from the subscribers, they're not enough for undertake some projects away that Bar Charity Foundation can do. So now make this initiative guys I for make fundraise dinner. We can raise plenty of money for undertaking projects there. So as a foundation, we come up with the fundraising dinner for Seattle Bears. Now they raise more funds, and you don't clearly mention say this not only the first one and mm -hmm. the third one is. So this particular dinner we are organize this year inshallah so what are the cause or what are the targets specifically well this project this money and this dinner will itself for do and for construct a school in Falabadi state and Masofina village basically and for help the government to the new agenda for promote education in the country and we will target 500 people and we will one say 500 people and they will try for raise 100 million euros for do this project inshallah Okay, somebody we go to watch the program now. We don't know now the importance of this una annual fundraising dinner we can do every year. So how somebody could be part of the dinner itself? Well, it's very easy because the person do with me and me at the head and any staff not that far. But basically, you get two types of patron, right? You get the one hundred thousand and you get when the ordinary patron and you get the special patron when one hundred fifty thousand euros. And if possible, I reach you or one. Get this page on the to our office and on my nine member street or call 077457502 or a call the orange number when at 076364966. Should repeat the number then? The number then again at 077457502 or 076364966. So you don't tell me Alhamdulillah, you don't tell me the patron price them and how somebody will get una for make themselves go buy their own patron. So who side this program for take place? Well, this program for take place na special court, New England Bill, na Peace Hall, we will be so specific. And on November 4, it will take place 2018, inshallah. So now the time as well as in the dinner. Um, the, time, the time for the dinner will begin Sunday, una 4 o'clock and then to 10 or 11 at night. Because you know, on the day, all night. For, because some people like to forget all that thing they go for do because they do go for come after Sunday and Monday and people like to visit that day inshallah. Well, mashallah, that's now we brother brother Hassan Sanito Bangua. We the part of the strategic department at Dagba Charity Foundation and also in at the head for the organizing committee. As a dinner for can tell we about the third annual fundraising dinner we then get for organized November this year inshallah. So brother Sanito, as usual inside the segments, we can get a side we can call the final message we can get out to viewers and so if you get any final message to the one who they watch with what in that message they could be Assalamu alaikum to my viewers again this project we on that on take so and build school the one part of the thing that we decided to sell to Jaya we go meet you let's say if you don't die or you don't pass away from this world we go meet you side inshallah so and I encourage my viewers them and the Muslim and Muslim are them for me they on that get a bit on them we know one hundred thousand and one hundred fifty thousand with the Dagba Charity Foundation, especially this dinner committee, we will set up. It can upgrade every year because what you expect to go happen, we happened last year, it will pass what happened last year, inshallah. And we promise to have a great dinner for me to be able to meet together because we, where they say Islam, we close past you and the way you call brother or sister, and I us, inshallah. So I encourage you now for you to come and get to pay to them or call the number that we don't give, but remind you of the number again 077 457502. Or zero seven six three six four nine six six inshallah. Mashallah, the annual fundraising dinner, the target for construct a school na masonfonia inside Falaba district. And the boy I don't tell you inside a message for say this project here also we did implement. If you self come and support them, it will be a means of salaka to jaria. We mean say it gets for be an ending 
charity we in a charity in the court of hey, they among the one the way rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam say among the three type of charity the way rasulullah sallallahu alaihi wasallam mention say na among them na charity the way no get for the court of and one part them now when you left a building where it will be a benefit to the people the way they left behind you even if you don't die that blessing they meet you so the word i encourage you for me to all come and board for me we support this wonderful project here so by a way or means we yourself go secure your own patron well now so we'll come to the end of we own segment today we now my message segment and me will bring the segment to now today my name is brother moazba now so i will let for say ma salam and not forget for smile cause na charity Mashallah, alhamdulillah, kudus to the Dagba Charity Foundation for the third annual dinner where then they come up with inshallah and this particular dinner is geared towards promoting education, building a school where this school will be dedicated to the vulnerable picking them for Golan Book at no cost and also, you know, this particular school will be for help for build, picking them Islamically so that they will contribute better one, you know, within the society. Well, now not time for let me relax and take this very beautiful Nasheed title, Join the Kva. Join the Kva to help the poor. Join the Kva to help the needy. Join the Kva to help the less privileged. Less privileged in our society. Join the Kva Have you ever thought of living, living for a day without food? Have you ever thought of living, living your life without clothes to wear? Have you ever thought of living, living your life without place to sleep? Or even ever thought of dropping out of school Or just can't go to school Cause your parents can't afford it There are so many people Living for days without food to eat There are so many people Walking in the street without clothes to wear there are so many people who don't have place to sleep, they sleep in the street. There are so many children who are not going to school because their parents can't afford it. Join that bar to help the poor. Join that bar to help the needy. Join that bar. Privilege in our society, join that bar to help the poor, join that bar to help the needed, join that bar to help the vulnerable, join that bar in reaching out to the needy. Have you ever thought of how your money could help to change? Others lives Have you ever asked yourself How often do I spend in Allah's cause? Do you know that you are then less blessed When you spend in Saraka Jaria? Or are you looking for an opportunity For you to spend in Allah's cause? So now it's the time for you to join, for you to join the Kva Foundation. As we are trying to reach the poor, reach the needy and build our Jannah. Join the Kva to help the poor, join the Kva to help the needy, join the Kva. Privilege in our society, join that bar to help the poor, join that bar to help the needed, join that bar to help the vulnerable, join that bar in reaching out to the needed, join that bar. Many people.
people are suffering. Joy that far. So many people are dying. Joy that far. They don't have food to eat. Joy that far. They don't have water to drink. Joy that far. Their children ain't going to school. Joy that far. They are selling in the street. Joy that far. To help the poor. Join that fire. Subscribing for your late parents. Join that fire. You can build a masjid. Join that fire. Or you can dig a well. Join that fire. For you and I. Join that fire. To help the needy. Alhamdulillah, we enjoy the masjid day. Well, join that fire charity foundation for help the poor, for help the needy. For help the less privileged and for help the vulnerable people in our society, you can be a member, inshallah, and help or contribute towards you know national development. But I'll also relax and enjoy this very beautiful spoken word title. I'm so busy. I can't get up for fajr. I don't have time to pray. I'm too busy to read the Quran. We say, as life pushes along its way, as we move on in this world, lifeless. But still seeing, daydreaming and finding no meaning in our day to day seeking for truth Tell me about your favorite celebrity and youth How much did you know about what they would do? Their birthday, their age, their story, their siblings names Where they were next to perform on stage You would beg your parents for VIP passes to meet them Stay in line all morning to hear them but what about Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala The one who created us Who allows us to breathe Who sustains us Have we no time for our maker But then make time for the creation Clear our schedules to plan a vacation But cannot make supplication To the one who hears all And deserves all praises Cause we are invited daily To speak with the king of kings And ignore it but if a president or prime minister wanted to meet us for dinner We would feel honored to even be considered So why don't our faces glimmer when we bow to our Rahman And are still given mercy despite being sinners Think of how many we would tell if we met an important worldly figure And yet the message of Islam we do not deliver Oh Allah you are the forgiver And your Quran is the bigger picture in a world where your signs shimmer everywhere but we are blind to them Ya Allah make pure that which we intend Make the time which we spend blessed and only towards your ends till the day we are dead Ya Allah make us never forget Or abandon the message that you sent And let our efforts be towards investing in the beautiful deen of Islam Allahumma ameen Mashallah, Alhamdulillah, that's the spoken word title. I'm too busy and I hope you're inspired. You know, no matter how you're busy in this dunya, do you are not busy for sake of Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala, not busy for worship Allah, not busy for do anything we Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala don't command you for do. Well, now on a time for let me go over to the most exciting corner. We now we Sadaka corner. So stay tuned as we the go now the Sadaka corner, you know, waiting we Sadaka corner get for we today. Uh -huh. Assalamu alaikum, me na una pikin, Dr. Sheki Blaim Sadu Kamarat, Chief Imam of Timni Central Mosque, Ulfi Street Mosque, and also lecturer at Milti Magai College of Education Technology College Campus. I recall on una mi brothers and sisters, em, especially the one the way Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala and trust to wealth, that una na Muslim there una get a mandate. Among that mandate today, na una responsibility for give zakat. Zakat is one of the five pillars of Islam. What you for do? The Quran may so say they want them. When no grief of Zakat, they fall under the Mushirikun that people who are politicized. He want people that will go give money 
forgive zakat, no grief for zakat. He said, if they take their zakat and they, if they eye on them, they face and back them. And Yom al Qiyama, when they tie them, then they say, Haza ma kanatul yal fushikum. Now this one will keep on herself. Today we will go to hellfire. So therefore, now for that, Alhamdulillah, Rabbul Alamina, while for the nation for so many years, we will not get an institution, a reputable institution for going to get a zakat, we will not get out a, a, a reputable institution where they call dark fact. We will not train them, we will not talk to them, they have no how to take zakat for help humanity, for help society, for help the nation. Because the crisis of every nation, now when people then get, they refuse for share with other people then. There is no love wherein people get, then they enjoy while the majority suffer. So now for that, Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala say, their money man, the way they spend their money for help the poor people then, for help the needy people then, God will help them. So therefore, they call on them. They will give, will have money them, will have percentage them to the fact organization, because they go know exactly who and who forgive, so that you don't go give the wrong person. We are shown and foreseen by God in power with this organization here, it will go by the right channel. Well, Alhamdulillah, that now we still there on the school project right there, Naman Sofina. Very, very huge project, but it's a Salaka to Jaria project. Remember, the prophet say. After you don't die and leave this dunya, all the good work will cut off except for three. And among these three, one good work will benefit you, seeing that knowledge will be get and pass on to others. So let's say you know you know to a teacher, you know for pass knowledge to others, but for contribute for let them build school. When that inside the school and go for the transfer knowledge to others, that's a very, very great thing. So try as best as you can for be part of the Dark Charity Foundation toward annual families and dinner and help for contribute towards, you know. I mean, national development. Well, Alhamdulillah, that's how we don't successfully come to the end of the 51 edition of a special Islamic show, Arisala, the message, where they reach you, you know, live from AYV television, channel 33, and maybe they bring the program come to you, Min al Haji Abdurrahman. Special thanks to um, technical, you know, a producer, both for Kagbo, and special thank you to me and producer, Cherno Majuba, and thank you to all the one them who helped me for make this program here so good reach you. From we chronic presentation, right, come down to a solar corner. I hope see you don't learn a lot, and you don't inspired. Well, as I go, I want to make you think about it. Uh -huh. Each day that passes by is a reduction for my life in this world. But many think they are going to have it all. But wallahi my brothers and sisters, it is minus one. So why can't we replace the haram with the halal during a short stay in this dunya? Think about it. Uh -huh.